What's up guys, Ankle Spangin here, and today we are playing as Callista AD Carry. And this is actually um, the second try of this. First game was It was a blast. It was it was crazy. We got absolutely I got another dimension level of dicking from a ribbon. It was disgusting. She annihilated me. Feels bad, man. But Going into this next game, we got it now. First game is out of our system, and we are ready to crush with our boy Liquid Painless on his coveted Thresh, a god tier support, also a streamer, a master tier support or main, who's a challenger boyo. Um, he's ridiculously good, in all honesty. So, let's see what we can make happen in this video game. Wreck him. So basically, just uh, give Connor the reins here to wreck that Cassidin. Cassidin is not the easiest person to uh, lane against. Whoa, okay, let's see. Oh my goodness, this attack speed. That, no, oath sworn attack speed. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Mm, there we go. It, uh, oh, yeah. All right, just a little. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> I didn't even kill it. Holy shit. So much work. I didn't think we were doing that. Whoops. So it looks like the Aurelian Soul and Twisted Fate bot lane were also doing their uh, camp, I guess. So I guess they they're doing Gromp, right? They're doing Gromp. That's what they're that's what they're taking three years to do. Maybe. Yes. No. No. Nope. They were just. Not here. So Aurelian Soul Twisted Fate bot lane, huh? This is... This is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be real, real interesting. But I think we got this. So the hook will come in, and I'm not sure what he was planning. Kaboom! First blood going down there. That's what you get for sitting there and taunting this Thresh, baby. So first blood easily picked up right there. Just, oh... Ain't nothing but a peanut, Mr. Aurelian Soul. Ain't nothing but a peanut. And let's... Ugh, okay, got it. <laughs> I was missing all those minions. Because I'm just the greatest. So, Twisted Fate AD carry, huh? How you gonna do this, Twisted Fate? How you gonna drop that knowledge bomb off on me, baby? Show me how it's done. Show me how you are going to outlane a Callista. A Callista. Who arguably has one of the strongest laning phases of all AD carries ever. And let's what is what is this guy doing? He's wrecking me. Never mind. He's dead. He's going to die. All right, he's not dead yet. And wham. Oh, that exhaust. Ugh. He didn't have exhaust? What the fuck? What the fuck? All right, come on. Eh, I'm not doing it. I don't have the balls. Whoa! And I get the kill. Eric with the flash auto right there. Popping that oath swarm pop. Popping that good shit right there, baby. We'll be picking it up. And you know what? God tier support strikes again. There he is. It's him. It's him, ladies and gentlemen. So, honestly, this dude is just begging. Begging, begging, begging for some bacon strips like those dogs do because you know it's apparently they taste like bacon uh, I wouldn't know I have not tried them but you know they apparently do they apparently do. so whoop, go ahead and take this lantern and we are going to ski diddly daddle on out of here Aurelian soul support not having a good time so far but by the way guys this game just in case you're wondering what kind of uh, ELO we are playing at this game is full of all diamond players on the enemy team. So, if that gives you any little bit of a hint as to what we're going against here. It looks like Aurelia going in. We'll be getting the kill and the flashes come in. But I think Pants is going to be able to just Kha'Zix this kill up. And wow! There's the stun. Is he going to get in the Void Spikes? Going to penetrate her up a little bit. And you know what? I got to say that Kha'Zix is probably very excited to penetrate a Frost, but Irelia. So, uh, maybe a little appropriate, but what you gonna do? We are back in the lane now, though, baby, and this wrecking train is coming through. Choo-choo, bitch, because I got 
you know, I got something to say to y'all. And by y'all, I mean the enemy team because, you know, you guys are angels. My viewers, angels. Okay, maybe not angels, but you guys are pretty great. So I'll throw my little trinket ward in there. Give it a little, uh, give it a little loving, as they say. And let's go ahead and uh, get that. Uh, double up. Uh, uh. And let's see, is he going? He is going straight for it. Is that pickaxe going to build into a Yomu's? Or not Yomu's, though. A Ginsu's is what I want to know. Could it be the Ginsu's? Boom! Just tickle him up right there. 77 damage off of that Q. Wasn't even worth the mana cost, in all honesty. So we'll go ahead and just, well, we're just going to relax it up and see how we can chill. So, 2-1-0 on that uh, that uh, Oriana in mid lane. Great job, Connor. And let's see. It looks like Pants is trying his best to, uh, he said he was going to embarrass me this game. So let's see if that prophecy is going to uh, come to fruition. So give him a swanky auto attack there. Give him a second one. Because, you know, I don't even give a heck, son. I don't even give a heck. We'll throw one word in here just uh, for the sake of it. And that stun is not even going to be remotely close to hitting us. And you know what? That's fine. I'm actually very okay with kind of just farming this lane up right now. Because, in all honesty, there's not just... There's just simply not that much else to be doing right now. So I'm actually going to throw my little... My, my little sentinel out there, see if we can get him uh, roaming a little bit. Take a peek over by their blue buff, because that should be up uh, any second now. And speak of the devil, it's up. So, it looks like he is going to get stunned up a little bit, taking some good damage there. The hook gonna come out, and he is definitely gonna go down even through the exhaust. Easy pickup right there. I am so sorry, I just made him miss that siege. I am the worst, and let's maybe yeah let's do it let's pull him in here throw him into the fray there's the flash and there's the hook so see you later Aurelian soul not today he says and it looks like we're just gonna have to uh, take the long way out I guess and by the long way I mean ooh, 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 ooh. and that's okay We'll take some damage there, get this tower down somewhat, and let's go ahead and see. So, this is going to build... I'm actually not sure if I want to build this into a Runans, or if I want to build this into a Blade of the Ruin King next. Because either way, I'm not really going wrong. Um, I just don't know what might be better in this situation. So we'll go ahead and go back, and actually... Dude, if I just... I can just wait for 30 gold. I can wait for 30 gold. No problem. 25 gold. We'll buy this full runans. And that'll be delectable. That'll be that yummy yummy in my tummy tummy. Which, you know, obviously this is my head. But uh, you get the picture. You get the point of what I'm trying to say here. So runans complete. Let's do it up, baby. Now we got that spread and auto attack. The ren stacks will be easier to apply to multiplay of their faces. And we'll see... You know, let's see how delicious these guys are feeling. Because if they're feeling as delicious as I am, it will be a very decadent bot lane. A very, um... A very... A very... Um, pedantic one. A very pedantic bot lane. So let's see what we can do. 8-3 to three so far on that team score. A good record. Looking good for us. And you know, let's go ahead and just bop this. Kha'Zix picking up a solo kill on Aurelian Soul. I guess he just found him. And you know what? Easy, easy dude to find and kill. So, no surprise there. I'm picking up that quick swift kill without even taking any damage. So I'm actually going to let these minions die out before I take this tower first. And then I will go ahead and boink. Take that. There we go. So, 84 CS at the 10 minute mark. Not a bad amount compared to the 46 of Twisted Fate, who is apparently ulting in somewhere. And it was top. So, I guess I'm not going to bother. I mean, there's not really much reason for me to do anything else other than sit here and farm. So, no real reason. I mean, we can pull him in and grab this guy. So, going to maybe knock him out of that flay. And there is going to be an easy kill right there off on the Aurelian Soul. 
this poor dragon, he just chose the wrong lane to play this champion in. So it looks like I will be getting stunned up, taking the lantern out of there. We out of the mix. So 3-0 oh, and 1. Easy dives to be executed right there. And let's see, will he get it? Will he get it? The hook is not going to even attempt to come out as we just pound down this second turret 10 minutes into the game. So, you know what? I'm okay with it. We are absolutely crushing this lane right now. It could not be going better. So maybe, oh, I will be getting stunned. And well, take that little lantern out of there. Go ahead and just jump on. There's the flash. There's going to be the hook. And let's see, maybe... Got the kill, and let's see. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to get shut down by the Aurelian soul. Good night, me. But we will definitely be doing just dandy there. And the hook onto the Grunk. Will he? Oh, the Cassidy? And he's probably not going to get out of this one because it's Cassidy. And then he's going to glomp. And there's the... Oh, he canceled the Q. He has no mana. He can't do another jump. Kha'Zix coming in, look at that damage, and Thresh gonna get the kill just by whapping him into shape there. Nicely done. Gonna grab our next recurve bow and our Berserker Greaves. We attack in hella speedy now. And the great escape coming out from Thresh Epu. Thresh Bay right there. So definitely, definitely some good stuff. Definitely some good stuff. 6-0-2 on that Kha'Zix. That is pretty damn good. Nicely done, Pants. And let's see if he can get something out of this. This Zack does not have his cell division up. Or does he? And I'm just tripping. So let's see. He is going to cue it. There's the jump. There's the <laughs> the ultimate to get both of them. And he is going down. Good night, Pants. Our feeder idiot. So, I mean, I'm totally joking. I love this guy. If you guys don't know that, all flame aside, I actually love Panzer Dragon. He's a great friend of mine. Uh, helped me out tremendously multiple times. And definitely, if you don't know who he is, another YouTuber, you should check him out. But anyways, going in here, 111 CS at the 13 minute mark. I am honestly a little, I'm feeling a little trepidation to be this far forward uh, without, without my support. But there he is, my hero is at my side now. So nothing else to do here I don't think it's very safe for me to try and do anything bottom right now without some solid dank vision so we're just going to boop, see what we can do here and boop, get all these minions get all these oh there it is so maybe oh hey there mr. Aurelian soul and I'm stunned uh oh oh wait what the fuck what the fuck just happened <laughs> what Did I, did I accidentally auto when I was taking that? Do, what? What? Huh? I think I accidentally autoed while I was taking that lantern. So that was uh, something else. But painless. Is he gonna go? No, my baby. Now let's see. Oh, wow, he soloed that rift herald easily. I did not think. Wow. I guess he is fed enough to do that, do a lot of damage there. Well, let's get in this mix, baby. Let's get right back in the action. 4-2-1, and one, almost the 420, but we are not blazing it, and holy shit, that W damage. That was a lot. Holy damage! The exhaust coming out, and here I am, the flash equilibrium strike, and maybe, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, and he is going to jump out, and boink, that Dusk Blade, holy moly, doing so much damage. Dusk Blade, that was nuts, that was gnarly, holy shit, that was so much damage, I love it. Alright, let's see here, can we get this guy, I could hurl my Thresh in there, but you know, I don't think it's going to be a very solid idea just yet, until... Now, maybe, maybe, wait, come here, let's get these fools, knock that twisted fate up, there is another guy there, drop the heal, boom, there's gonna be one kill going down for us, there's the assist, 
and it looks like Cassidy is going to be coming in, and maybe, I don't know, I don't know, is he going to get out, and he's definitely not, he is definitely not getting out of there, and we are grabbing up our little, uh, <laughs> he's trying so hard to, <laughs> That's what he gets for trying to avoid using the dust blade, man. Get out played. All right, Connor's going to go for it. He's going to do the alt flash on top of them. I'm calling it right now. So there it is, the alt flash on top of them. Call it right there, and he's going to go down in exchange for some swag points. But, uh, you know, no, it's definitely not the kid, because if he, if he was the kid, he wouldn't have died. But, hey, it is what it is. So let's see, Aurelian Soul, looking like he's got a bone to pick with me. But uh, you know what, with a Cassid in there, who is actually very low, I'm not going to not gonna stress too much about it. not going to stress too much about it. Let's go ahead and throw my Sentinel over there. They were going for this Dudurgan, and I'm not sure. Whoa, oh, 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 Zack. Oh, Zack. Oh, Zack. So where is that Aurelian Soul? Oh, there he is. Never mind. I take it all back. I take it all back. I don't even want to try and fight him. He's so far away. So Zack does have his passive. Uh, I can get baited here, like hella baited. So I need to exercise complete and total caution when uh, when going for my enemy here in this situation. So throw this W right into the middle of the lane because, you know, why the heck not get that yummy vision going throughout the enemy forest like the little lumberjack he is. So maybe, can I go for, it's really hard to go for solo kills on Callista now. Um, after they did nerf her recently, the nerf they actually brought out was pretty, um, pretty unforgiving. Oh, what the, Jesus! Holy macaroni! All right, that was a lot more damage than I thought it was going to be, but the exhaust going to come out all over my face, just, just all over my face, take me down. Blade of the Ruin King in hand, we are able to definitely do a lot more. But anyways, what I was trying to say was that they actually did nerf Callista again recently, which was very needed, just by the way. Um, but they made it so actually you lose attack speed if your Oathsworn is not near you. Um, so, as you can see, up to 19% additional attack speed. It's not like a ton, but for a passive, that's a lot of free stats. Um... And she actually has lower base attack speed because of that. So when you're not with your Oath Sworn, your attack speed is a lot lower. Um, and obviously you do quite a lot less damage when you can't both attack the same target. So Callista does really encourage a lot heavier team play um, than other AD carries. Or at least as far as cooperating with your support. So it looks like he's just going to take this farm probably. Oh. No, he's not. My dude. My man. Look at this guy. My man. My man, Connor. Look at him. Look at him. What the heck? I'm dead. Oh, holy mackerel. And I'm still dead, but fuck that, man. Fuck that. He was so close to dying. All right. I need to be more careful. Because they are doing so much magical damage to me. I need to get magic resistance right now. And I'm going to get that magic resistance through a dank mercurial scimitar. That'll give me 35. And I'm probably actually going to go for even more, in all honesty. Because I am just constantly getting killed by this magic damage. And QSS against their team is going to be really good anyways. So it will definitely be a very solid purchase for us in the long run. So... We gotta focus, we gotta sit down, relax, sit back, and focus, because I am not, I'm not doing the do today, you know, I'm not doing the do, but JK, it looking like he is gonna get jumped on, and he is going to get chunked out by the, does he have Tiamat? Yeah, he does have Tiamat, and a Serrated Dirk, interesting, it's kind of interesting to go for, like, both at once, in my opinion, but, hey, you know what, seems to be working. He is huge. He is a big, big boy right now. And we'll see. Let's see what we can do here. Honestly, though, Callista is interesting to me. As much as I enjoy playing Callista, and even like I even have the level 5 mastery because I've actually played...
quite a lot of Callista. She simply just like Sivir. God, there's something so badly in my eye. She does not fit my playstyle anymore. So let's see the Aurelian Soul Ultimate coming out. Will be an easy kill right there. Boom! Picking it up and also taking his life. So I, er, not Irelia, but uh, Oriana is going to be chasing after an Aurelian Soul. But the Celestial Dragon, Dragon, the Celestial Dragon. I think this this Cassidy made a. Uh, not so good choice there. So let's see. Oh, oh, never mind. He made a great choice. The flash hook. And let's see. Maybe we can get this guy. It looks like. Uh oh. Gonna drop the heal off on him. Oh wait, that's not a. Uh, a or AD. So whoa. What? That hit me. That damage is fucking nuts. I did not expect that to hit me. I did not expect that to hit me. So, damn, dude. My, my issue all around. So he's definitely gonna go down here. The flash not going to save him. I don't think at least. It might, it might have saved him. The blade surge will not be up for a little bit. Can he get the next W? There's the dissonance. He's actually out of there. Never mind. I take it all back. He's out of there. So... A very spicy play on Connor's part. Very delicious. Very uh, yummy in my tummy. And honestly, we're looking like a freshly harvested potato this game. We are not playing much better than your standard uh, you know, crop on the farm. We're playing like a carrot, like a potato, like a leek. Uh, what's another good vegetable? A root vegetable. A beet. A beet is another good root vegetable. Um, what other good ones are there? I don't know. I even forgot my trinket. So, looks like uh, <laughs> Zach could have tried to kill me there, I think. So I'll go ahead and cue him. Just give him a piece of my mind. Just be like, yes, son. Word to your mother. So, he went for another assassination. We'll be going down. Still 12, 4, and 3, though. Very, very good score coming out of pants. He is definitely doing some major work this game. Definitely putting it in there. Putting it in there. And we'll see we can get some of these minions maybe we can do something here i don't know oh, whoa oh god he did the thing he's gonna go down and let's see maybe uh, wait that didn't kill him okay he's dead fresh got him and no 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 oh oh no oh no oh no no fuck you what is all of this shit Man, man, all right, not going to be getting out of there. Going to go down again, and this sucks. All right, let's see what they can do. We did get the Zach, but the rest of their team was just so fucking obnoxious on me right there. Just absolutely shitting all over my chest. They just squat over me, ripped my shirt open, and diarrhea everywhere. It was very nasty, not a pretty sight, and I am dead because of it. So Ravenous, nope, Ravenous Hydra not complete. He did get the Yomus instead. And when did Cassidy get so big on the enemy team? That is not good for me. That is not good for me. Actually, their entire team um, is not very good feeling for me. So we're going to have to be excruciatingly careful. I may go for a second defensive item, actually, um, because of just their team against me this game. And Callista is a very, a very interesting AD carry. She doesn't do damage the same way other AD carries do damage. Obviously, you know, some of them are like, take it, baby. She also sits there and auto attacks. Yes, that's not what I mean. What I mean is that she counts on sitting here auto attacking like a quadrillion times and then doing all of her damage with a big rend. So I'm actually going to go ahead and rend that for him there. It looks like, and he will lose the Baron. Pants. What are you doing? Pants hey, gonna lose that Baron out there. We'll be getting one kill right there, and let's see, maybe can we get more? The boulder toss will miss. And maybe not gonna go for more. So Pants not even He didn't even have a jungler to smite against. I tried to rend it to help him get it a little lower. Um, because I actually don't know how much damage my rend's gonna do, in all honesty. Haven't played Kalissa in too long. But you know what? Challenger Jungle Main Pants 
going to miss out the Baron to a, uh, a team with no smite. Classic challenger players. So let's see, he does not have his cell division yet. You can see on his passive bar, like on his buff bar, if he has it or not. And since he does not have that little buff icon there, he does not have his passive back up yet. So that is good for us. We almost have a Mercurial Scimitar, which is, uh, you know, it's definitely good, definitely good. And I might... I could go for a Maw this game, actually. Um, that's not... It's not necessarily a bad idea. It's not... Definitely not the best one I've had, but it's not a bad one, to say the least. Whoa! This is not looking good. And... Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh, that Ren did nothing! It did nothing! Oh my god. Oh no. Oh man. Alright, well, it looks like the cavalry has arrived, and the stuns from Aurelian Soul, the stars! The stars are aligning, and they are doing so much damage with my little Glompifier here. And the hook, the ace, it was all a bait the whole time with my life as the target. So, yes. Max Q it, it is. So, with my life on the line for ire, we will win the team fight there. With a clean one for five fight against a Baron up team. So they just, you know what, they dedicated way too much to trying to kill me there. And even though they did, they accomplished it, I do not think, I do not believe it had the intended effect for them. So let's actually grab a longsword here. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to build it into, but a longsword is a longsword nonetheless. So I will uh, definitely grab that. Throw it in my arsenal of items here, and we'll... Uh, I'm going to grab this red, too. I probably should have swapped my trinket uh, like a year ago. Literally a year ago. Um, but you know what? I just keep forgetting it, honestly. I feel like a silly willy about constantly forgetting it. But it is what it is. So my two choices that I'm really thinking right here are... Um, wow, I crit both of those? Unlucky. But my two big choices I'm thinking here that I'm feeling are going to be a... Um, Sterex Gage or a Mob Malmordius. Either way, I don't think I would be in the wrong on uh, on either of those items as far as my purchases, because Sterex will give me a lot of health, um, as well as the big shield to stop the bursting, where Ma would also give me that magic damage shield, which is what most of my life is being taken away from, as well as a decent amount more MR. So, who knows what I'll go for. I think I'll probably go for a uh, Maw because Sterex was actually nerfed on lower HP um, people. They tried to make it into what it is, which is a full-on bruiser item. So, it was actually nerfed for... Jesus Christ. Holy fuck. He just does so much damage, but the shockwave! Alright, and the flash little wallop will not land, but the gnar will hit Irelia and is not going to do anything. But holy shit. Holy shit. He just does so much. Fuck, man. I am so out of it tonight. I am not playing well. I apologize, guys. I really do apologize. Because I am... Man. I am not playing well. And it... It feels bad. It really feels bad. As I'm sure, uh... As I'm sure you know. So, we're gonna go for the Hex Drinker next. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna really... I'm gonna really try my best to focus a little bit here. And not be literal garbage. Um, for just for just a little bit because this is not this isn't good it feels bad it feels bad in my bones so let's see is Cassian gonna try and jump me it looks like he kinda wants to and he will and he's gonna die for it so easy easy pick up there for pants honestly baited so 7 9 11 we do have an Irelia there on the loose Come here, Mr. Thresh! Going to pick up 
that Irelia easy boom right there. There's the kill for me and the oh that locket shield baby. Liquid painless Eric the man going to be saving his ass as we get two catches right there. Beautifully, beautifully done on uh, on our part. So I'm gonna throw my sentinel before I go walking in that bush just to uh, get a little bit of vision. <laughs> And we'll go ahead and grab some of these minions with our hand on a very fidgety flash key. Because if I see a Zack Shadow looming overhead flying at me, I'm going to flash the fuck out of there. I am going to dip mm, harder than a little fudge popsicle. Because you know you know what I'm talking about, right? Those little, uh, those little fudge pops where they just like, just dip it right in the chocolate. I'm going to dip faster than that. It is going to be... Impressive, truly impressive. Instead of doing anything more. Did my fingers just break? Is is that what just happened to my fingers? Like, did, did they all just snap? They're just like... I mean, they don't feel broken, but... Wow, that sent shivers down my spine. Right, let's get right back in this game. We have our Hex Drinker now. We swapped our Trinkets, and Baron is spawning. Let's see if we can do it this time uh, a little better. Mistakes happen. I get that. I was just throwing a little, having a little good time with my man pants. Irelia is bottom at the moment, so let's see. I should not be the front line right now. I am definitely, definitely uh, messing up by being the front line. So I need to really focus on my positioning in this game. Uh, for at least the very rest of it all. And let's see what we can do. So we are level 15. Almost 16. Almost 16. And after we are 16, our ultimate will have the longest knockup that it can give. So let's see. It looks like he is going to be doing some good damage there. Let's go ahead and pull this guy in. Throwing him in the air. That's going to be the hook coming out right there. And no, he is not going to be getting out of this one. Boink, there's the kill for Thresh. And... There goes Kha'Zix flying in the upgraded Void Spikes, sending out a trifecta of damage and slowing prowess. And it will not be anything as he goes flying in there. Nar, look at that damage! And maybe, uh-oh, alright, I guess I'll just uh, try and tank this out a little bit. Then we'll get that, no problem. All gravy, baby. And I do still have my uh, Hex Drinker shield, so let's lifesteal up a little bit here. And we'll grab this inhibitor and we'll do some good auto attacking off on him maybe come on er, er, lip lip boom one kill and get me out get me out wait i want back in i want i want it i want this one yeah double kill for me will be putting me at 10 9 and 13 finally we have broken the double digits we are going to uh, no stop doing that stop doing that Stop trolling me, video game! Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh god! That bug is killing me! Please! Please! That bug is fucking annihilating me! It's... Oh, I'm having heart attacks! If I auto while I'm taking lantern, it hurls me out of it. Mm. Uh, it just fucking like yanks you dude oh god that's such a horrible feeling what are you doing what are you doing here what are you what the heck is he doing huh what are you fuck you and the flash alright twisted fate is he gonna do it yeah. Yeah. where are you going huh? what are you doing Alright, he's over there. He's not going for anything. He ain't going for diddly squat. So let's go ahead and get our full Maul of Malmortius. And do they have armor? Armor, nothing. Armor, nothing. Armor, tiny bit. No, they literally, basically don't have armor. Literally, basically. So I'm actually going to hold off on selling that D-Blade for just a second here. Painless, my baby, I'm coming! Alright, never mind. I yelled at them real angrily from a very long distance, and they were like, Oh, shit, Callista's coming. Everybody scatter! So they all ran away as soon as I just yelled, I'm coming. But, uh, you know, classic classic fear tactics, actually. So let's let's do it. Let's fucking do it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Pants could be in a sticky buns. 
It, he's not. He's fine. He's fine. So maybe... I think we could do this. I really think we could do this LeBron. But Pants really wants to back here. So we're just gonna... We're gonna let him do that. We're gonna let him do that. We're gonna grab this uh, Miss Scuds again. Miss Scuds. Come here, little girl. Mm, mm, yeah. Mm, there we go. So Mob Mamortius will give us a... 419 magic damage shield along with our 150 uh, 150 magic resistance so this is good this is good get it right get it tight I'm gonna go ahead and just clear that and accidentally piss off the Baron you know I didn't mean it he knows I didn't mean it you can tell he knew it the oh Connor going to whiff and let's see it oh get my baby out of there and let's see whoa oh god where am I going what am I doing where am I going okay eh. Eh. Come on! Yeah, right. Got him. And maybe come here. Come here. Come on, sucker. Come on. Come on. Please die. Jesus. Why'd you. Oh. All right, you know what? He didn't die. He didn't. Die. It's 80 carry twisted fate. That explains it. <laughs> that explains it. That explains a lot more, actually. So. 11, 10, and 15 now. Literally, literally the worst. But, <clears throat> you know what? Someone's got to be the best at being the worst. And if you're going to look at it positively, just look at it that way. Because, you know, we're number one at being the worst. So let's see here. The bot tower definitely going to go down. The enemy Aurelian Soul is not going to be able to defend this. You can say that without the shadow of a doubt. And top lane also has a massive massive wave almost the size of half my penis pushing harder into that tower uh, harder than uh, actually I'm not gonna say that one that one's inappropriate so we'll be getting that top turret down it looks like whoa there mister uh, <laughs> mister Cassidy gonna try and get the kill there and the jump is gonna come out twisted fate try and go speedy deedy but he is not gonna get very far flying in holy burst He's jumping in, he's going ham, and he's gonna, well, he's not gonna find anything. He didn't have any, uh, he didn't have any buns to go with all that ham. So no sandwich will be entering his, uh, little maw of a stomach. So the middle inhibitor going to respawn. Irelia going in, another jump out. When will they learn? The hook coming in. And here comes, uh, the Oath Sworn, you know, ankle spanking dog coming in. And, I mean, he's not really doing anything, but he's here. So let's go ahead and, you know fucking ring around the rosy of this little inhibitor so we'll ring around the inhibitor get that inhibitor kill and we'll see what I can do this tower just sure back 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 and back 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 did I just win did I just win whoop go get him go get him you pussy all right liquid painless is a vagina but you know what honestly we probably carried this game Actually, I'm excited to see Pants' damage. All that bursting he did, I really want to see how much damage he did. So, S plus on that Kha'Zix, no surprise. And let's see. And, yeah, he definitely did the most damage right there. There it is. There it is. That is good. That is good. Almost 50,000 damage. That is impressive for Kha'Zix. So, playing that game very well. Very well done, Pants. And we were actually in second... So I'm a little surprised by that. I thought Kanu would definitely be higher than me there. But it is what it is, and a great game nonetheless, even though we were a feeder dog, a gigantic idiot, if you will. And if you guys did enjoy this video still, make sure you do leave a like and favorite. It really does help me out. If you want to even follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch, I'll things in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. You have a wonderful day. Peace!